Hi everyone, welcome to this week's installation of the Wolf College of Coffee vlog. It is our hundredth uh, video, so thank you to everyone for subscribing and big thank you to Josh behind the cam there. Give us a wave, Josh, uh, for, for doing all the hard work and keeping these videos up. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because we've got some amazing stuff coming between episodes 101 and, and 200 onwards. My name's Adam. Uh, I'm a Wolf Coffee Partnership Manager here at Wolf. Uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, San Remo Zoe. So let's go. So here we have a uh, new San Remo uh, Zoe competition just come fresh off the ranks to us. We thought, hey, what a better thing to do with our 100th uh, video than what all the other cool kids are doing online, which is unboxings. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right. So we'll give her a, a spin around as we go. Um, the ooh. Zoe competition uh, comes in multiple varieties. This is uh, one of the high cup uh, two groups. Um, comes in a variation of colors as well. Um, we always love to go in the black ones. You know what they say about coffee machines, once you go black, uh, white and silver are also an option. Um, so inside we've got a number of different options. Um, as we go through, we'll unbag a bit more of this. Got our water out pipe. Um, that's about as clean as you'll ever see it before we go and install this thing. Um, water in as well as power. Now the two group uh, San Remo Zoe's come with a 15 amp plug, which is really good. Uh, if you're running a home machine, most of your Kettles and microwaves will run off about a 10 amp, so it's actually really accessible for most small cafes. Um, it's not pushing up there with the 32s and 40s that some of the higher end machines go, so it's really useful to have. Uh, we'll cut more of this open, see what else we can get out of it. Now, as we come down here, uh, you'll notice a couple different things. So the sides and back panels on this are fully customizable. Um, those can be done direct through San Remo, which is Pretty cool feature to have. Um, this one is, as I said, in, in black. Uh, it's a combination of matte black on most of the panels, uh, and then the sides and back are a gloss black, so it's really good looking on the bench. Uh, all the new black San Remo Zoe's uh, with the heads up displays uh, and touchpads. Those ones, are, I believe, they come in a, a, a red digital color, so it looks like a, a Darth Vader on your bench, which is pretty cool. Next section, uh, this is the top of the machine, so this is where we hold in all of our ceramics and glassware. Um, it comes as a, as a mat, but you can actually peel that off and get as a, a clear plastic. Beyond that, as it is a high cup, we've got uh, two tall boy stands to hold up our glassware. Little box in here, we'll take a look. All right. These are some of the prettiest things we'll ever see, so you can get a view of these. There's your group handles, so it comes with, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, two two groups and one three group as well as your blind, which is a beautiful little fit. And I think the uh, standard on these ones are 25 gram baskets. All right. Now we get to the nitty gritty. So if we take out whoa, the outside here, what we're looking at is a really clean and simple lines. You've got all the uh, information on the machine down the bottom left there. But uh, as far as all your water works are concerned, really simple connections. So this is a dream to install. I've done a number of these now and uh, couldn't ask for a better machine to pop up on a bench and get plugged in. Now we'll take a look at the top of the machine and all the internal parts. So on the inside here, um, as far as a single boiler machine goes, it's very simple parts. Um, keep in mind some of these parts you, you are going to want an electrician to handle if you ever do need anything interchanged. Um, but as far as access and simplicity goes, you can't ask for better. Um, we've got a basic access panel back here in order to dial up and down your steam one pressure. Um, in a number of accounts we've done this. Uh, as a standard, it comes at about 1 to 1.2. Uh, we've brought it up to 1.5 on a number without 
any issues whatsoever. Um, internal, you've got your copper boiler. Um, beyond that, all your solenoids, easy access to most of these parts. Um, your touch pads at the back here, really simple access as well if you ever have any issues arise with those. Um, but beyond that, I mean, simplicity is key. You really can't break this. And when it's coming from the guys who do the uh, San Remo Cafe Racer, I mean, they've, they've definitely got the legs when it comes to knowing what they're doing and putting together a beautiful machine like this. Uh, well, hello again. Uh, here we are with a, uh, a Zoe that we prepared earlier. Now, this was one of the first ones that came into Australia, and we were lucky enough to snatch it up and pop it up on the bench here in our training room. With this one, it isn't a high cup. This is the standard Zoe competition. With this machine in particular, we use it for a lot of our tastings, uh, developing uh, flavor notes on all of our single origin coffees. We use it in conjunction with a two group uh, linear classic, but as far as shot consistency, flavor profile goes, it's never skipped a beat, and we, we rely very heavily on this machine, and it, uh, it definitely wows us every time. As a standard, you've got lights built in. I know that as a barista myself, when it came to opening up shop in the morning, the last thing you wanted to do is turn the lights on on, uh, on your venue and have people trying to get in the doors asking, oh, are you open yet, are you open yet? But this definitely helps with being able to set up in the dark. Beyond that, uh, what this machine does and what all Zoe's do, which is I think a fantastic option for a, for a basic machine, is it does uh, pre-infusion. So this machine will run um, a pre-infusion on all of your uh, single shots. It'll run a 0.6 second pre-infusion uh, with a 1.2 second hold. So it's really handy to have, and we'll run one here just to see the start, stop, start again. So really handy to have on these machines, um, especially if you're looking at, uh, not that it's um, up there in price, but linear PBs, uh, Stratas, all these new machines that do pre-infusion, even this little guy can do it as well. As far as uh, shots go, um, this one is very handy. We've got both double uh, handles running here. We've dialed this one up to uh, 1.2 uh, as far as the bar pressure goes. And like I said, it's, it's never missed a mark. We've got a number of these, including three groups out in the field at the moment. Some of those three groups are running anywhere between 70 and 90 kilos a week. They've never missed a beat. Um, you know, we're, we're hearing nothing but positive feedback about these machines, so we're really glad to have them. Uh, so I think one of the best features about this machine, and it's something that I wish I had a few years ago because it would have saved me a lot of pain, but fully on, cool touch steam ones. You know, you really can't burn yourself, you can't burn the casual stuff, um, but really good feature. Um, you know, it's, it's something that uh, as, as a stock standard machine that as a two group uh, costs less than a, a, a one group linear mini. Um, you know, to, to have features like your pre-infusion, cool touch steam ones, um, built in lighting, it's, it's really an affordable thing that you could have on a home bench given the size of this one or the compact. So uh, this is the San Remo Zoe. Um, you know, if you ever want to talk about getting one, give us a buzz. We'd love to talk to you about them because they are definitely a machine of choice for us. Um, and thanks for watching the unboxing of the San Remo Zoe. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and if you've got any questions, comment below, and we'll see you next week.